Good morning, everyone. This is Mark Worla, sales representative at Remax Escarpment, and we're here today with Johnson Pumping to talk about septic tank pumping, a very important part of country living. Let's meet Mr. Johnson now. Now, first of all, don't call me Mr. You call me Dan. I'm Dan Johnson from Johnson's Pumping, and I see this is yourself and your lovely wife and the two little ones <laughs> sitting there having fun. So, my good friend, sir, you've moved from the city to the country. Yes. Have you talked to anybody about how the septic system works or anything like that? That's why we have you here, because you're the expert. We've been established for nearly 50 years. 50 years, that's awesome. My dad started off, his name is Bernard, he started it off way back in the 60s, roughly speaking, and then we've, since he passed away, I've been carrying the business on. Uh, I get people calling me seven days a week, basically 24 hours. And that's I try awesome. to have a little bit of fun, joke around. Now, uh, I see you got yourself and your lovely wife and the two little ones, yep. and you just bought the place. Did the people before you say the septic system was pumped? No. Okay. So what do we need to know about that then? Well, what it is, is it all depends on how many people live in the house. Is you and your wife. The average time for a pump in a septic system is about two and a half to three years. But as the little ones get older, that means it's going to cut it down by six to twelve months and it's proper maintenance to have it pumped so that the, the tank is in good shape and there's no problems with the, your septic lines going out there. Now as you'll see out there, you've got a beautiful front lawn and you see dark green strips of grass. Yes. That's what they call the septic lines or the laterals. Yes. That means that the water sludge content in the septic tank is where it should be. That means your septic bed is working fine. Yes. And sometimes on the septic tanks they've got what they call an outlet baffle and also an internal baffle. The internal baffle catches any other fine particles and a better off like a, your car filter will plug up here and not go into your septic system. So, I shall take care of things and make sure my wall flush beats your full house anytime. <laughs> okay, so remember if you want to have your, your septic tank pumped and have a couple good jokes, please phone Johnson Pumping. So let's get to work. Thank you sir. That's, Thank my, you. that's my main objective. Film? You're still filming, right? Oh yeah. Yep. Let's uh, okay. Let's bring the camera over here, and we'll we'll check out the uh, the liquid gold here, or the honey. Boy, that's uh, that's some fresh uh, fresh smells there. Yeah. Uh huh. Very fresh. Oops. Now you see when you look at that, when you can see the water level being the height it is here, and the water level going out on the secondary tank which this is a, what they call a 1,000 gallon tank, two compartments. Okay? And that means to say if the water level is low, like it is, that means your septic lines are working in, are in very good shape. So this septic system is in good shape then? Yep, it's in good shape. Excellent, that's what we want to hear. Because uh, sometimes, I've seen them where the cement's kind of deteriorating, but there is nothing wrong with this tank at all. Excellent. The only thing I would like to suggest is, it's okay in the summertime, but in the wintertime, put a little bit of dirt or something over top of the plastic lid. Good idea. Because what happens is, you've got the heat from inside the tank, cold from the outside, will eventually split, you know, crack and deteriorate the cement. Good idea. And for what it, for what it costs for a little bit of dirt, it saves you getting a new tank in, and that can be uh, very expensive when you least expect it. For so, sure. Okay. All right. So I, I'm going to go over to my truck, and I'll start getting things ready to go. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Another service that Dan offers, he's going to talk about it now, it's very important in real estate transactions, 
Dan, go ahead. Well, what I'm referring to, when people go from the city to the country, they should have somebody that they can trust to can come in, inspect, and evaluate the septic tank and also the septic lines to make sure that when they walk into a, a beautiful, expensive home, that they know they're not going to have any problems down the road. And we're, I'm fair and I'm honest. I've dealt with the city of Hamilton with letters and I've had no problems whatsoever. I mean, I've done a few of the people come out and say, well, the city says I'm on a sewer. So I said to the customer, how long have you lived the house? He told me the year. I went and I wrote a letter to the city. The city accepted it. It was, it was on a septic system, not a sewer. So Awesome. So that's another valuable service that Dan can offer. Please give him a call. I have our phone numbers here. His cell is 905-979-2230. Please give him a call.